So the first new map we're going to look at today, guys, is a play on words from the James Bond film Skyfall. But it is actually pronounced Skifall, as the actual map is a ski slope. You throw your beans down, trying to get through as many hoops as you can. I actually didn't realize this when I was playing this round, and I thought it was a race to the end. So first tip is to actually go for the hoops, as you can see me valiantly dodging the high value gold ring here and dodge past every single ring at this checkpoint. As you can see here, there is a big bronze ring around the outside, silver in the middle and then the really small gold one in the middle. I thought this was the end of the race, so I was a little confused at this point when I respawned. The bronze ring gives one point, the silver ring gives two points and the gold gives three. Except the ring at the end, the gold ring at the end gives five points, so it is worth going to the end of the course rather than respawning again at the top where there's no beans competing with you. You can use the flippers to flip you backwards into higher value gold rings, but this will take some time to practice as it is pretty hard to do. For now, I would just concentrate on the easier rings and making your way down to the bottom of the course for that illustrious five point gold ring. The next map we are going to look at is Freezy Peak and this time it's first to the top wins. You obviously want to avoid the boxing gloves. I should have moved further to the right to avoid this glove as the right glove had just punched so it would have been safe to stand there. Here I should have gone to the right hand side of the conveyor belt, not the left hand side. Because, at this point you want to be in the middle, so you can get on the fan. This is why starting in the middle is a slight advantage. With these fans, you want to stay on them long enough to get flung up. Don't just keep going forward, or you won't give yourself enough height to make it to the other side. I get lucky here and do it pretty perfectly. If you do go high enough, you will fall over. I advise diving to get up quicker. At this stage, whatever you do, you don't want to get hit by the punching gloves. They fling you off the map and then it's game over. Take your time and play it safe. The last two can be skipped as you can see here, they don't reach all the way to the flipper. With this bit, I get unlucky and I can't outrun the barrier. So wait for a gap, then go. Do not jump on this area, you will lose your footing and fall. Then at the end, make sure you died the right way and then take your victory. And the next map is probably one of my favorite maps that I brought in season three and it is Tundra Run. So as you can see here, we're just trying to get to the top again. As I said before, avoid the snowballs. They get larger the longer they are around. Uh, obviously you can't always avoid them like I get hit here. Uh, again, the fastest thing to do at this part is if you see the scout drop down to the right there, he actually makes it through a lot quicker than us guys, so I would suggest going down to the bottom side. There he is emerging at the top now. With this part, you can dive and it does give you a boost. I, <laughs> I try my hardest here to try and get it to basically fling me onto one of those gloves and get me across the map. Honestly, I don't think that's the best method. You should probably just jump across the gloves. Jumping over the gloves is quite tricky as you seem to lose your footing for some reason. So I would actually recommend going over to the other side. If you were going for a speed run, the gloves would be quicker, but if it was me, I would play it safe and go around the outside. There's not much time difference in it if all you're doing is wanting to qualify. As you see me doing a neat backflip here. This shows that there is some unpredictability about going on these gloves as there is no one around me to make me flip over like this. Uh, obviously avoid the flippers here, the fan does get a little bit annoying but just avoid it. You then just get flipped over to these flippers and then flipped over to the end, avoiding the bell. First of the team games is Snowy Scrap. Who can make the biggest snowball the quickest? At the start you notice I take the outer line and keep nudging the ball inside. This is the quickest way to get the ball down to the middle where the snow is. Once you are down, you want to try to avoid where other balls and you have been. Unlike other maps, it's actually good to get hit by the punching gloves here, as they give your ball increased speed and send it to the middle of the map where there usually is lots of snow. Remember, if there's too many people pushing your ball and you're getting in each other's way, one of you or a couple of you can go over to the other balls and start pushing them into areas that hasn't got snow. Keep watching to the end to see the two new finals. For maximum speed, you need to get out the way when you're getting the punching gloves to hit your ball. See how these two here stand in the way and then get hit by their own ball. If, they've if they would have moved to the side, then the ball would have got a lot more speed. 
like we do here. The first of two new finals is Roll Off. Here the aim is simple, stay on the rolling sides and stay out of the slime. There's not much to this one as it's just the same as Roll Out but instead of 5 rollers there's only 2. I would advise not jumping on this level at all. When the speed ramps up it will take you too long to recover from it. Just use your camera stick to always look at what's coming next and stay on your side as long as you feel you can before you have to switch to the other side. This will give you the maximum amount of time on the side going the other way and minimises the amount of crossovers you will have to do. If you see a long straight like this one, just keep running on it. Don't do obstacles or jumps that you don't have to do. This final is all about minimising risk and not doing things that you don't have to. I'll let you watch the end of this round guys. The next map we are going to look at is Thin Ice. This is actually a new final which we've been waiting for for so long now. It is very close to Hexagon but it's a nice little refreshing change to the map lineups. As you can see here the ice has three cracks and then it breaks. There are three levels of ice to break through. My strategy here was similar to Hexagon. Perfect your slow jump timings. Jumping at the very last second to make the ice last as long as possible. At the start this doesn't really matter. Something else that I don't actually do in this video is if you jump on the same tile it will last longer to crack three times rather than if you just stand on it. Don't get caught out on the last jump though and mistime it. Towards the end I tried to get an area to myself. I always make sure the area is somewhere that isn't bright blue as these areas attract the most people. So I crack them once as soon as I can and then I start my slow jumping. Annoyingly there was teething issues with the update and a few bugs made it into the game as I did actually win this round even though it says I'm eliminated. Thanks to the Fall Guys team though I got my crown rewarded later on so don't worry if this happens to you guys. I will now let you watch the rest of this final. <laughs> 